Antenatal corticosteroid therapy is well established for babies from 23-24 weeks till 34 weeks of gestation and the use in late preterm babies has uh, come into focus since the ALP study was published a few years ago showing a benefit in respiratory distress. You can see from this chart it's a little busy you can pause and review that different guidelines have different uh, recommendations in terms and for the late preterm babies most of the guidelines suggest use with caution or uh, to consider in high risk cases. So we can see here that the study was published in Taiwan based on the insurance database uh, looking at 1.6 million live births. So this publication concluded that the 1.45% of the babies who received antenatal steroids had poor neurodevelopmental outcome. The BMJ systematic review on this uh, mainly based on this study also came to the same conclusion obviously due to the study results. So it's likely that the babies who got antenatal steroid exposure either delivered preterm or the mother got it because of antenatal concerns like uh, infection or other uh, reasons like PROM that could be contributing to the poor outcome. So it's good to exercise caution when we approach antenatal steroids in the late preterm babies. Even though the neurological concerns uh, shown in the study was more due to the uh, risk of prematurity itself, we shouldn't take it lightly and use antenatal steroids in the late preterm only if it's essential.